I get a lot of questions about adding music to videos in Resolve. How loud should my music be? What kind of music's good for my video? How do I make the music quieter when somebody's talking? Where's the best place to get music for my videos? Well, we're gonna go over all of those and big thanks to our sponsor of this video, Artlist. More about them in just a second. So let's start with the very basics. You have a video here, has a bunch of clips, it looks great, maybe has some voiceover, but you need some music. Well, to add some music, it's pretty easy. You can go up to your media pool and you can right click and say import media, navigate to wherever you have music on your system and hit open. That'll bring that into your media pool, meaning that it's in your project. And you can just drag it from the media pool down into your second track. Any empty track will do. And now we have the music in the video added. You can grab the bottom of this track and push it down to kind of make this audio waveform a little bit bigger. Now you'll notice that if you play this back, it's really loud. Nine times out of 10, if you bring music into your timeline, it's gonna be way too loud. That's because when producers make the music, they wanna make it as loud as possible because they figure that's the only thing that you're listening to. But for us, it's not. We wanna hear the VO as well. So big tip is just to select your music track even before you play it, go to the upper right, make sure you have your inspector open and take this volume all the way down to like probably negative 18 or so, something like that, negative 20. And now you can actually hear the music when I was a boy and you can hear your VO over it. But what about those times where we just wanna hear the music and there is no voiceover? Well, there's a couple different things that you can do to boost the volume of your music when it's not under a voiceover and keep it quiet when somebody's talking. One thing you could do is you can hold down Alt and you can click on this little line right here, which is our volume line. You can take this and drag this up and down to set the volume of the track. And when you hold down Alt and click here, it's gonna make a little point. And you can grab this point and move it around and you can adjust the volume of this track over time. So we can start loud. Let's start like negative seven or so. And then we're gonna bring this down to negative 19 or so. So now we'll start out loud. When I was a boy. And then it dips down when he talks. This is a pretty standard way to do it. This is kind of how everybody does it. But you can take this general idea and you can make it even easier. What if we could do this without drawing these little lines and adjusting things? Well, we can. I'll just hit Control Z a couple times to go back in time, undo. So what I wanna do instead is grab my blade tool and I'm just gonna click where I want this to change volume. So maybe right there. And now I can go back to my pointer and I can grab this line and push it up just like I would normally. So like negative seven. And now if I were to play this back, it would be loud and then it would instantly be quiet. And if I time this right, it might be okay. When I was a boy. And it's okay, but it's a little bit distracting. So to kind of fade in between these, I can right click in between these two tracks right on this little cut and I can add a crossfade. So let's do a 12 frame crossfade. What that's gonna do is fade from this volume to this volume. And it's gonna do basically what we did when we just drew those points, but it's a lot easier to adjust. I can just grab the middle of this and move it back and forth and I can adjust when this transition happens. So if I want it to take a little bit longer, I can just adjust this crossfade. If I want it to happen later, I can grab the middle and move it around. And that's a lot easier way to do it because if I were to draw this in, I can do a similar thing, but I'll have to shift select both of these and I can move them back and forth and that works okay, but it's a little bit more problematic to make sure things are just the way that we want. I'm kind of fighting with these little dots snapping to the edges. I'm fighting with moving the dots up and down. It's just a little bit more rough. So if I'm gonna fade my music, I like to cut it right here, right click, add a crossfade and have my loud clip just crossfade into my quiet clip. When I was a boy, my mom. And then if I want to add a loud part here where he doesn't talk, I can do the same thing. This time I'll just select the track and hit control backslash to cut that track right at the playhead, control backslash, right click and add those crossfades. And I can boost this up the same amount, or I can even just select this first clip and hit control C for copy and select the second clip and hit Alt V to paste attributes. The attributes I want to paste are just the volume and I'll hit apply. And now this clip and this clip have the same volume. When I was so we have boy, quiet, my mom would cook every night. loud, it was quiet, more than food. 
And again, it's really easy to adjust this way. The other thing I would do if you're adding music under voiceover like this is I would add an EQ to the music just to help the dialogue kind of cut through a little better. Easy way to do that is go to the Fairlight page. So we'll click on Fairlight. That'll bring up our timeline in the Fairlight page. And for the second track, Audio 2, I want to add an EQ. So over here in our mixer, I can double click on this cyan line and that'll bring up our EQ for our music. Now, if you don't know how an EQ works, it basically turns the volume up or down for whatever frequency in your sound you want to select. And you can do that with this little curve here. So I'm gonna grab number four and I'm just gonna push it down maybe five or six dB between one and two K, just like this. Even if you have no idea how an EQ works, you can just do this. And I'll also mouse over this and roll up on my scroll wheel so that this point is just a little bit sharper, something like that. And what that's gonna do is turn down the frequencies in our music that compete with the human voice. So now it's just gonna be a little bit easier to understand the VO my mom would cook every night. while keeping the music at about the same volume. Pretty subtle little tweak, but it helps a lot. So that's how to add and adjust music here in the timeline, but where in the world do we get good music that we can use for our videos? Well, that brings us to today's sponsor, Artlist.io. Here at Artlist.io, it's super easy to find like the perfect song for whatever you're doing. Over here on the left, we can filter by mood. We want this to be hopeful. Up here on the right, we can check if we want vocals or not. So we'll just say instrumental and we can even decide how fast we want our music. So let's say medium to fast. And then there's just a ton of tracks that are all really nice. See, it's hopeful, it's nice. So this is a little bit too hopeful. What I meant was hopeful and exciting. Yeah, there we go. And from there, you can just kind of drill this down even more. So like if I want it to be funky, I can go to funk. And so this is anything that's hopeful, exciting, and funky that's only instrumental and only 110 to 130 beats per minute. See, this is nice. And the thing I really like about this is there are always new tracks being added and each track is like good. It's not awful and cheesy or low quality. They're all songs you can actually imagine you using in your project. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And when you find something that you like, you can just go down here to the lower right and click direct download. And I'll download a wave and drop my music in and when I was a boy, my mom would cook every night. It was more than and it feels great. So Artlist is super dope. Not only do they have music, but they also have a huge variety of sound effects, including whooshes, impacts. Again, all great stuff, super good quality, things you can actually use. And Artlist is one of those places that is actually affordable. Like check this out. If you're just doing social media stuff, putting stuff on YouTube, Facebook, whatever, they have a personal plan called Social Creator. It's only $9.99 a month. It's copyright free, and you can use it on your YouTube channel, one channel on any of these platforms without worrying about music licensing or anything like that. If you wanna use your music or sound effects for commercial work, it's 1660 a month. Still pretty affordable, especially if you're doing paid work. And dude, it's like just super easy. And this is all unlimited music and sound effects. You don't have like points or anything like that. It's just as much as you wanna download. And if you do wanna sign up for Artlist, use the link down below in the description because you'll get two months for free. That's what I'm talking about. So that pretty much covers the basics of all the things I can think of to help you with the music in Resolve. Hey, what, what's your favorite kind of music? Mine? Well, I like a good old jazz. Not really.